Hey guys, it's February 2nd in 2016 and I have a couple of exciting packages. This is my second side-by-side -side comparison for Art Snacks and Sketchbox. Um, and just a little disclaimer up front, um, the Art Snaps Art Snacks subscription was given to me as a Christmas present by my mom and I purchased the Sketchbox subscription out of my own pocket and it is a Sketchbox basic subscription. These Sketchbox is $25 a month plus $5 shipping. Art Snacks is um, I want to say $20 a month. That might include shipping but I would have to double check on that. So the sweet spot for either of these boxes is approximately $25 in value. And I tend to assume that subscription boxes like these have access to uh, bulk pricing. I mean, with uh, like Dick Blick, for example, if you buy 10 of an item, you get their bulk price. So I assume these boxes have access to this. So when I'm pricing supplies, if there is a bulk price or a set price, I'll go with that price ra rather than the individual unit price, which tends to be marked up because it's a convenience price. So. We're going to do our disemboweling today, um, and I'm going to start with the art snacks. And I don't, I, I, all I did was slit these and black out my mailing address. I don't know what's in either of them. Oh, cool. All right. Oh, that's really cool. So here's a little sample of Stonehenge's craft paper. Now, I love using toned paper for drawing, and this is such a tiny, adorable size. Like, it's going to go right in my purse. And I got some cute conversation hearts. I used to love these as a kid. They taste like chalk now, but they're very nostalgic for me. So right on. And a wrap parcel. And my sticker. So what I'm going to start doing is the box that wins gets their sticker on my sketchbook. And um, so I need to put a Art Snacks sticker for last month because they won. Um, and we'll see who wins this month. And we'll tally up how many stickers. So I'm not going to read the card yet. I'm going to go ahead and open the package and then I'll read the card to you guys. And this is just an unboxing video. You guys should check back because I'm going to do, um, oh, okay. All right. So I got a jelly roll, a white jelly roll. And I, you know, I've never used jelly roll. I've always used uh, Cygnus white. So this is cool because um, I see a lot of artists, especially anime style artists on YouTube, using, a, using jelly rolls for highlights. So now I can compare the two. So that's cool. I got a Zig Posterman, which is a waterproof, um, it's a waterproof pen. I'm trying to find out what kind of pen it is. It doesn't seem like it's a chalk pen. This one seems like a soft metallic blue. It's for chalkboards, windows, mirrors, and ceramics. And I got a Winsor Newton Pro Marker in berry red. Now, if you read my blog, I have a Pro Marker and Brush Marker review coming up soon. Um, I actually don't have this color, so yeah, all right. All right, so let's see what the card says. Windsor & Newton Pro Marker, $5 retail. That's a little bit high. Depending on where you get them, you can get them for about $4.19. Um, new marker alert. The Windsor & Newton Pro Marker is newly released double-ended marker with the ability to write on ink-resistant surfaces such as glass, plastic, and wood. The high-quality pigments create streak-free dimension in any of your illustrations and come in 148 different colors. What color did you get? I will say Pro Marker, it's only new to Windsor Newton. It's not a new product. Lectureset has made pro markers for years. So, womp womp. Uh, Sakura Jelly Roll Classic White Gel Pin. This month, we've fallen in love with the science behind the Sakura Jelly Roll Classic White Gel Pin. Invented around the 1980s in a laboratory in Osaka, Japan, the gel pin is known for its even ink flow. Gel ink has a unique property called <laughs> thixotropic Thixotropic action, pronounced thixotropic. All right, I was close. Thixotropic means that when gel is distributed, it becomes thinner and easier to use. When a ballpoint pen's ink moves around in the barrel of the pen, gel ink stays put until put on a, used on a surface. Thixotropic action takes place when the gel pen starts moving across the surface, making the gel pen's ink flow consistent for the life of the pen. They recommend that we try it on the Stonehenge paper, which makes sense. These are like pretty decent materials for cute little tone tan drawings. Um, I've had a lot of
of problems with white gel pins giving out on me, especially Signo in the re in recent years, and it used to never do that. So I'm hoping Jelly Roll has some technology that the other companies don't have. All right, so Craft Stonehenge Paper by Legion Paper, and this is a staff favorite. Now they are saying that it's $17.14 for the nine by 12 pad. So this is clearly a sample pad. No complaints here. I love sample sizes. Um, and it's a staff favorite. Get ready for a super cool and unique paper. Craft Stonehenge Paper by Legion Paper. Stonehenge Paper is made of 100% cotton right here in the United States. It gets the craft title from its high tear resistance and the smooth yellow tan finish on each sheet. The best part about this paper, you can use it from everything from letterpress, letterpress printing to pastel drawing. Everything? Well, I might have to try watercoloring on it. I used to use um, Stonehenge and BFK Reeves when I did printmaking in undergrad, so I'm kind of familiar with Stonehenge and... Ha! Got it! Yeah! I actually have a slightly larger pad that I bought for doing Posca stuff with, so I might be uh, testing this with my Poscas as well. The last is the Zig Posterman Medium Bullet Tip Marker, $3.99 retail. Step outside of your coloring comfort zone with the Zig Posterman Medium Bullet Tip Marker. Whether you're creating Valentine's Day cards or quick doodles in your sketchbook, this marker has the look and feel of chalk, but without the mess of chalk dust. So does that mean it handles like Poscas? Um, the bullet tip is perfect for creating details on a variety of surfaces. Shake the pin and press down to get the ink flowing. Okay, so that's what Art Snacks sent to me. And candy. Now for Sketchbox. And Sketchbox come, always seems to come in this really big box. Um, and it rattles a lot this month. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, all right, now we're cooking with fire. They sent me some Tombow Erotigen uh, pencils. And what's ironic about that is my local Jerry's Art Rama had these on sale for 35 and I couldn't not. Like they're usually 60 plus, plus shipping. And I was like, I have to, and they're beautiful. These are beautiful. I like the colors too, and I think these are colors I don't have. Ha! So that's exciting for me. And a little wooden pencil sharpener, and a big sketchbox sticker, and a beautiful piece of art, and a description. So let's let's do this this month we're featuring color pencils for those who love to add color to their work inside this month's basic box you'll find a set of irritigen colored pencils a few extra irritigen irogeton pencils to round out the set a mono a tombow mono sand eraser uh no nope nope Sketchbox. I don't have my mono sand eraser. I've got this. I've got these things. But there's no sand eraser. So I'm going to have to mark you guys off for quality control. At $25 a box, you shouldn't be forgetting things. That said, and this is not going to count in your favor, I think I have a mono sand eraser somewhere in my studio already, so I just need to dig that up, but I'm really kind of disappointed because <laughs> you don't get as wide a variety. I mean, these are nice things, but I'm missing one of them. So that's a point off. Uh, and a come double hold wooden sharpener to keep you on point. And I actually use that brand's uh, magnesium sharpeners all the time. I love them. I bought the, a, like a bunch. I bought like six. I bought them in bulk because I tend to lose sharpeners. And this one has a large hole and a small hole. So that's great if you have, if you like to use jumbo pencils too. Um, 
Irojiten is Japanese for color encyclopedia, and with these beautiful, bleh, beautifully color crafted pencils, it's obvious why. These pencils spread evenly and cleanly over almost any paper. The outside is coated in an enamel finish, and each color pencil is made from premium materials that won't break during use. These pencils are known the world over for their smooth delivery of color, unique pigments, and tonal range. We also included a premium. Aha, uh -huh. no you didn't. A premium Tombow, and they misspelled Tombow, they spelled it Tomobo. Is that like a knockoff of Tombow? Oh, this is like the second, second typing error I've, out of two cards. Come on guys. They're also missing like uh, apostrophes and stuff. They, you guys, you guys, come on. You really gotta get on it. Made from natural rubber, latex, and silica grit, this eraser removes color pencil and ink marks, including ballpoint, ballpoint, rollerball, and some marker. It's one tough eraser, perfect for this month's box. Finally, we included a dual hole come wooden sharpener to make sure you can get the most out of your new color pencils. We're really excited to see what's going on with this month's supplies. So don't forget to tag us with Sketchbox February on Instagram to be considered for our monthly contest. If selected, the winner will get their art printed on, the, uh, printed on our box lids. So I guess I'm going to have to contact them about not including my eraser. Um, so, I'm sorry to end it on kind of a low note. That really kind of ticks me off, to be honest. I don't like paying for things I don't get. So, um, you guys should stay tuned because I'm going to be coming back with um, a breakdown of what these things are worth and I'm also going to take the art snacks and the sketchbox challenges and create some art with the materials in both of these boxes. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye!